American Arabs will hear this and they'll think, well, there's no limit. The American president has no moral line that Israel can cross in their desire to get rid of Hamas. So, so I, think there's one, I think there's one trouble. Uh, Pierce is messing up here. If the American Arabs hear this, they're not going to think what he just said. They're like, that guy's a dick. You know, they want to like, <laughs> they're going to want to beat the shit out of him. That's what they're going to want to do. I like to be honest and truthful about this, okay? No sugarcoating. You know, they do that a lot on here. I don't know why. Well, to be clear, I am a ardent defender of the First Amendment. So um, I agree so, with you. So the First Amendment does not protect against incite, actual incitement to violence, to say, hey, go kill that guy right there, do it now, shoot him. That's not protected speech. What about speech. saying Hamas but, is but the, right? So, so in the U.S., the jurisprudence on this, I mean, the U.S. is very clear. Anything that is an expression of an opinion is protected. So if you're expressing an opinion, however heinous, mm. that opinion is protected by the First Amendment. All opinions are protected. Now, my view is some of those are heinous opinions. We're the Except if it's against Israel and, uh, and the LGBTQ community, there's a little clause that states that. You can say anything you want and have an opinion about anything except those two things because we will go to war for that. You know? <laughs> this is how ridiculous the world we live in right now is. It's just like, wow. The country, the United States of America, who said the Nazis could march in Skokie, Illinois. Many people around the world would disagree with that, but that's what makes America itself. I disagree vehemently with those Nazis, but I will defend <laughs> to the death this country, in this country, the right of anybody to express their opinion. You'll defend to the death the right of people to be Nazis in America. I write the right of people to express an opinion. Being a Nazi can involve more than that, right? If you're taking action based on that, no. Heck no. But if you want to... But if you're promoting and supporting a, a, a Nazi ideology, why would you want to accept that in America? I don't want to accept that. The way we defeat it... Why would you tolerate it? I don't tolerate it. We don't tolerate it through free, more speech. You defeat it in the marketplace of ideas, and we're not tolerating it. Because think about what you're doing to somebody who has that nasty opinion, and then tell them that they have to keep it to themselves. You tell people they can't speak, they scream. But would you allow people If you tell to... people they can't scream, that's when they take physical okay. action. But so also, I don't want to see that. Would you be happy to see... Okay, using that ideology, what he says, when you tell people they can't speak, then they scream. Tell them they can't scream, then they take physical action. Apply that to uh, Palestine. That's basically what Israel's doing to Palestine, what he's saying right there. And I'm sure that Pierce knows that, but he strategically evades this idea and this perspective where I interjected here. The spiritual philanthropist, TSP, Rav Shiva. Don't forget it. To defend Taiwan, should China try and attack it? I said we would militarily defend You'd send troops in. Military, it depends on whether ground troops are actually what matter. Let me conduct this, man. That's what it's all about. We could talk about SSGNs. But you would send the American military into the we, we would militarily defend Taiwan, yes, at least until we've achieved semiconductor independence. I mean, that wasn't <laughs> and I'm the only candidate who it, said it. But it wasn't Israel. what you used to say. <laughs> Pierce, that's false. Is I have it said false? that. Yeah, it is false. So you can check this for yourself. Mm -hmm. I good. have always said the part that these people are picking at is the fact that I said at least until Taiwan gained semiconductor independence. I have a feeling that when he says that, where he's basing this all on the semiconductors over in Taiwan, just like in China. I'm sure there has some aspect of outsourcing here going on as well. We're probably saving a lot of money by having a, a country that's less uh, affluent as, as the United States uh, take on the uh, work and responsibility as well. I'm sure that's a big factor in a lot of countries why they don't actually engage in full, full out all, you know uh, wars unless they can actually uh take over the entire country it's usually a large country you know taking over a smaller uh less uh, financially equipped or or uh, militarily equipped uh country so that's usually what it is i mean it's the same thing in with people anyway it's the same exact idea you have more uh, they have less you could take advantage of them it's just nature in some form or another i'm not saying that i can do it i'm just looking at it objectively saying oh that's kind of like what it is from the macro to the micro that's what it is Look, at, they're taking the time that they have here for a potential president by a seasoned journalist to talk about something that has in no way a direct effect on our way of living here right now. Look at how much time they're spending on trying to one up the other. You know, this is what's happened to journalism today. It's turned into pure bullshit. You know, it's all about egos. It's it, it, I don't know what the point of uh, Pierce uh, Pierce's questions are, 
what he's strategically trying to extract here. I don't understand on uh, Vivek Ramaswamy's uh, the potential uh, one one of the uh, uh, presidential nominees or whatever the hell they want to call themselves. Uh, you know what his actual view is, except for semiconductors. <laughs> you know, it seems like semiconductors are a big part of his his strategy here. And I, I guess if any country uh, uh, acquires the ability to create semiconductors. Uh, better than Taiwan, then we're going to be having uh, some kind of relations with them in some way or another, and they're going to be protected. <laughs> so uh, if, if I were Palestine right now, I would get myself some semiconductors. <laughs> right now, <laughs> Palestine should be crying out, please send us some semiconductors. We don't want food. We need semiconductors. <laughs> We could we could test his we could test his his ideology out and theory right now by getting Palestine a bunch of semiconductors and see if America gets involved and it actually helps to stop this war. Guys, look, I've had enough of this bullshit, and uh, you know I just wanted to come on here. I've never heard about this Vivek guy, Ramaswamy guy. I'm Indian, so I was like, oh, let's hear what he has to say. But he's just to me like all the rest of them. They all have the same way of thinking and. Uh, you know, I, I can't say it's, it's bad, but like I said, when you're truly an American, you, you're not the prettiest thing on the planet. You're probably the dirtiest motherfucker on the planet, if, if anything. America is known for its grit, not its glamour. You know, <laughs> it's known for for, for, for for being a certain way. And I, I, if anybody's offended by what I said, I'm sorry. You know, I don't mean it to be that way, but I'm American and, and I was born here in this country. We speak and we act a certain way and we see things a certain way. If you disagree, that's fine. I have no problem with that, you know, but just don't get in my way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do one of those one-liners from the 80s movies, you know, with the match in my mouth. Now, listen here, kid. No, but uh, guys, I'm going to leave this here. I don't think I want to watch any more of this. They're just going way the hell off, like I said. I hope you enjoyed everything that I do. I try to really give an honest, clear perspective of what I'm seeing. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll get some feedback from you guys and, you know, some comments that I can work with to uh, help me to align better with you as an audience. Thank you for those of you who, who have subscribed. I appreciate it very much. And you see, like I said, there's no holes barred with me, no sugar coating. I'm going to give it to you straight up as it is. You know, when I have to tone it down, I will. But when I feel like certain situations, I'm not sitting in any seat in a, a parliament or in the government. So I can basically be the average dude just like you, you know. And uh, that's all I am. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. All right. Everybody stay safe and uh, get yourself some semiconductors if you want to play it safe. That's what I'm doing now. I'm going to try to find out where I can get one. All right.